Greetings, YouTube. You'll often hear the Red Caps complaining about dangerous minorities. Um, they're, they'll go on and on about how dangerous um, Muslim immigrants are to America and how they commit domestic terrorism, and they don't. 70% uh, of uh, domestic terrorism is committed by white men in America. Um, you'll hear them go on about, you know, how black people commit more crime than white people, and they don't. Um, that's just white nationalist talking points. You'll hear them talk about how dangerous having trans people in public restrooms is, is and, and trans people aren't dangerous in public trans public restrooms. Um, they just want to go about their business. But, you know, facts never seem to get in the way of a good desire to discriminate against a minority group, especially when you're a red cap. But there's one minority group in America which actually is dangerous, and the red caps don't ever speak up about, about them. Nope, this one group is in fact is not only um, ignored as, an, as, as a group that is dangerous, but they are in fact lauded. They are in fact worshipped by um, the red caps. And that group are the wealthy. They are the true dangerous minority in America. They are concentrating our wealth. They are gaining more and more power politically and socially. I mean, every time Jeff Bezos farts, people want an analysis of what he had for lunch. And yet, he has more money than I think anyone else ever has and didn't pay taxes in 2017, I don't think. So, does that not let send up alarms in other people's heads? Does that not concern Americans that wealthy people are getting away with not paying their fair share um, while the rest of us are? I mean, they knocked down the corporate tax rate in America recently, and uh, they shouldn't have. Uh, in fact, they should have made sure that that 35%, which was the old tax rate, had been was actually paid by the corporations. Um, corporations reap the benefits of um, our society. In fact, not only do they reap the general benefits, you know, roads and waters and electrical grids and things like that. There, not to mention the police and the fire department and military. You know, the things that we all take about take we we take uh, benefit from. But they also take benefit from the social uh, safety nets, what pathetic, sad social safety nets we have in America. Because, for example, Walmart, um, many of their employees have to take supplemental uh, food and supplemental social services because they don't get paid enough. Um, and I know you heard that they were raising their uh, the, the hourly rate, but they also took some away some benefits from them. So, you know... Good PR campaign, don't want that get in the way of, you know, actually still screwing your uh, employees. What we need is to make sure that every single person in America has a, a living wage. That every single person in America has shelter and food and uh, education and health care and, you know, clothing. We need to make sure that every single person, everyone, is taken care of from cradle to grave and they never ever have to worry about anything like that nothing that there should never be a moment of anxiety in their life where they are concerned with am I going to have a place to sleep tonight or is are my kids going to be able to eat tomorrow will my kid graduate high school Will my grandfather have the medical coverage they need? No person in America should ever worry about that. Yet they do. Um, do you know how many homes in Europe go bankrupt because of uh, how many households that go bankrupt because of medical problems? Zero. But it's the highest percentage of bankruptcies in America. One bad medical condition can destroy your life in America. And the red caps are okay with that. They're okay with the wealthy, the people who have the most, contributing the least, and rigging the system against 
the majority of us. And I don't fathom that. I mean, I'm well read, but I'm not a genius. And I've figured out a long time ago that capitalism is unsustainable. Markets are not infinite. There are limits. The only thing that we have unlimited on Earth is sunlight. And we're not capturing a lot of that and using it effectively right now. Because we keep cutting subsidies to alternative energy research. Because, you know, big oil wants us to do that. But there are people more concerned with earning a profit than making sure that there is a planet to spend the money on in 40 or 50 years. And it's not going to do a whole lot of good for the Bezos of the world if the planet doesn't sustain human life any longer. Of course, they're probably planning on pulling up stakes and moving to an L5 orbital colony or maybe heading to Mars or something like that. It wouldn't shock me. Or maybe underwater colonies someplace out where we can't get near them. Um, they better hope that they take care of the people who do their security well, um, because otherwise they're going to be in a bad position. Because let's face it, most of them are pretty much useless when it comes to make things like, you know, making sure they actually get defended and things like that. But the Red Caps are happy with this. The Red Caps are comfortable with this. And I don't get it. And I wish they did, because this disparity in our economic power is what's going to destroy us. We're letting the wealthy take away what we've earned. Because the wealthy didn't earn that. They didn't create that wealth. We did. We the people did this. They are parasites. And the people that created the wealth should be the ones benefiting from the wealth. And we aren't. And it's time to take it back. So, let's hope that the Red Caps wake up. Because I don't know how to get to, to get through to them. I don't even want to talk to them. So what's it going to take? How many of their family members will have to be homeless and hungry bankrupt and educated before they realize that, you know, maybe the policies in the nation should serve the majority of the people that live there.